All right, this is the thing. This object has a very special property to it. This object it allows you, first of all, let's just talk about how dope it looks. It's a cool ass object, right? Mm -hmm, it's a metal phone. It's an interesting object and it allows you to do something impossible. And I feel that uh, both of our skill sets um, really came together on this one because in Magic Live 2018, I had never met you. Uh, I'd shown you like two or three effects I was working on. One was uh, the metal iPhone, which I had just had a prototype that was like the, uh, the Matchbox, Matchbox yeah. penetration. Um, and yeah, so I had been doing a card through phone and then it ended up being a metal phone. And I really loved that trick and I showed it to you and you were interested in it and we didn't really do much with it. And then about six months later, uh, we had started talking again and you seemed very confident that you could create a locking mechanism. And when you mentioned that, I thought, okay, that would be amazing if that was possible because for me, the aesthetics of, of this object, I'm in love with. But if it could equally be as impossible, then I was like, okay, this is something that has to happen. Mm -hmm. So fast forward to now, yeah. you, we, we now have a gimmick that locks and people are able to handle it normally mm -hmm. and it's not going to come apart. That's right. And that's right. That's an amazing thing because now this allows you to put it in the spectator's hands and opens up so much presentations for this mm -hmm. because like we saw when we went out and we like tried it on real people people really noticed i think that cleanliness mm -hmm. so let's talk about uh obviously they can see the object um but let's talk about the internal workings and like the work that you put on on the inside of this uh, block of metal. Yes, I'll so, talk, yeah. yeah. And why I created this, because the thing with the matchbook, uh, the classic effect and some others uh, after that one, the problem is that uh, the spectator uh, could uh, just uh, push it a little bit and it will come apart. Yeah. yeah. And I think that when you perform, you must be confident on what you are using. And that's why I didn't like the matchbook effect. I like the effect, but I don't like that, please take it. And yeah, if they and shake it, it could be, because if you do it like 100 or 200 times, the mechanism of those classic effects will start to get loosened. Yeah. And that will never happen with this one. But there's never been, well, well one, there's never been two things which, which is happening with this. There's never been, that concept built into a normal object that's that, right in, into mimicking a normal object yeah so that there's a instant presentation tie-in and there's never been a way that it, you can confidently lock the mechanism so mm -hmm. there's never been a mechanism inside so that's those right. two things are like i'm really proud of this and you mm -hmm. should be too yes. this is amazing you yeah. spent a lot of time on the uh, mechanism and yeah. i I'm really happy with it. It's kind of it kind of blows my mind that it got mm -hmm. this far, you know? Yeah, like thank you, thank you. Yes, it's I was kind of obsessed with this. Uh, since you show me I love the art, I think your idea is really amazing. Because now people, oh why why didn't I thought of that? The phone, yeah. you know, but the truth is you did it. So congratulations for that. It's it's an amazing thank idea. You. And by looking at your design, and I really love the idea of the camera, which yeah. is makes sense of for the phone, I thought perhaps I could make a mechanism using the camera, you uh -huh. know? And my first initial prototype, because I did about six or seven prototypes, right, okay? Right. Until I, my first prototype was simply the camera slides with the thumb and it allows you to, to open the mechanism. I remember that you, uh, after I had sent like a photo or something, you had a prototype within like two days that you were sending me photos of and I was like, whoa. This guy moves quick. Yes, this guy yes, yes. Quick. And the problem with that is that when it locked, it could eventually. Uh, it's not too much secure. Now they can see. They can see nothing. Absolutely. That's a really magical thing because that method allows allows so much 
to to put it in their hands and have yeah. them reveal it like it, it yes, just yes. It, it also so gives confidence room. to the performer that it will not uh, easily fall it will not fall apart you know it's like some of the other methods and the mechanism was really very difficult because uh, we are talking about steel <laughs> it's not plastic you know it's yeah. it, it's steel so i had to create a mechanism inside a block of steel yeah that was very hard. Uh, so you had to open it somehow. People, it's, they cannot do it. But when you close it, I really wanted it lock in place. Yeah, yeah. So only with. So and you have to have the special key. And you are able to open the phone like that. When when we went out and filmed, I noticed how much confidence you have with an effect like this mm -hmm. versus like I had performed with the old version that didn't lock and. You, you had to be so hands-on, you had to only let them handle it in certain ways. Yeah. So you had to use kind of psychology to be like, pull on it this way or just like feel it, you know, like very subtle language. Yeah. But now what's cool is when you have a gimmick that is so, so well designed and also such an interesting aesthetic, you now can get into some really interesting psychology because you're, you're able to to kind of like do many things with this now, now that you can put it in their hands. Mm -hmm. Because now you can do effects like making the phone get heavier psychologically in their hand. You could have them open it up. You can do things that were never before possible. And also getting into it, as you saw with like people, you get into mm -hmm. the trick before you, they know that a trick has even begun. That's right. Which is such an interesting thing, you know? Mm -hmm. it's, it's something that not a lot of effects have. And that's, that's kind of what piqued my interest with like the metal phone. Yes, it's very nice, yeah. And I really like a presentation of uh, the layers of impossibility that you will place into this. Uh, which is which are really amazing because they 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 will swear that they feel the the phone getting getting heavier and I think the uh, the idea of having an effect where you can deconstruct someone's reality is a very fun thing and very cool thing to do for someone because mm -hmm. I I feel that the basic handling and the basic moves that we figured out with this mm -hmm. allows people to kind of put their personality into it so that when they get it they they can be like okay these are the basic beats that you know that you need to hit you know you know that you need to convince them at the beginning that it's a real phone yeah you know that you need to get them to get to say that it can't go through because there's a, a phone inside a phone inside yeah and then you can begin to just deconstruct the reality further and be like okay there's a metal piece inside like I think there's a lot of interesting presentations that can be done with this yeah. and you know we all know that stuff that happens in the spectator's hands is is a very the powerful yeah. and it's it makes you feel the most powerful as a magician mm -hmm. and that's that's something that i think this checks a lot of boxes on so. and it's a phone it's modern everyone has one and the routine is really amazing i think it's i think magicians will love this yeah, yeah. It's very hard to make these, we only make these in very small quantities because it's a lot of hand work, many, many hours go into each one. It's, yeah, it's a lot of uh, love for magic to come yeah. up with something like this. Yeah, it's, yeah. Yeah, I I'm, think it's. I'm happy with, with how it turned out and I, I think that, um, I think people are gonna really love it. Yeah. And the, the way it looks in person mm -hmm. is, is uh, I, I believe it, it's worth it. If, if in my head, what has been done is if someone likes this type of effect, I believe to date this is the uh, the best version and it's mm -hmm. the most effective version Absolutely. because it gives you such a broad variety of presentations and such an intense confidence absolutely I, I, yeah. I yeah the the confidence of knowing that it's not going to open is yeah it's I, i'm saying that over and over but <laughs> it's it's really it's really pretty wild yeah um, i agree yeah i i stopped kind of remembering as i was performing it that i can just immediately hand it out with no switch and no worry of no directions and i'm like telling people pull on it like make sure it doesn't come apart obviously like 
it's it's very cool. Yes, yes. I think I think it's very important. I think it's a little step to magic once again to push magic forward. And I think that magicians, when they try to come up with these things like us, I think it's important to really do our best to push the magic forward. I think it's a new effect, yeah. new presentation, a new method. Yes, this is this is cool. Yeah, I think very so. cool. Yeah.